Hi, my name is Pregya Seet and I'm a services architect here at Okta. You may have seen that Workflow's Okta Application Connector offers a bunch of events and actions out of the box. These may allow you to say, add a user to a group, remove a user from Okta, and so on. However, there may be scenarios where you may need to extend beyond the already available functionality. In my case, I want to be able to add my incoming user to an Okta admin role. This could be based off of their department, team, or role values, whatever the case may be. I can easily achieve this using a custom API action. Let me show you how. As a first step in my workflow, I use the user created event. This is triggered every time I create a user in my Okta tenant, and I use the Okta user's ID to be able to fetch that user using the read user card. In my case, I uh, refer to the custom attribute role on Okta's user's profile. And this is actually created under the profile editor here as the custom attribute. As the next step, I need to check if this role attribute meets the criteria. In my case, I want to be able to compare it and see if this is equal to the support value. However, before I do the comparison, I actually convert this to a lowercase just to make sure that my, all my comparisons are case insensitive. I use a continue if card because this allows me to terminate the flow with a message in case the criteria is not met. However, if the value of role equals support, then I proceed with the next steps. Next, I prepare for my custom API action call. In order to do this, I set up three things. First of all, I have the custom uh, text compose card here to create the relative URL. I use the Okta user ID and the roles API endpoint to construct this URL in this case. Next, I use the object construct card to read the headers value. I have the standard accept and content type headers as part of this header object. I use the object construct card again to construct the body of this message. In the request, what I want to send is the type of the role, which is mapped to the help desk admin in this case. Lastly, I add the call to the custom API action card. When I actually add this card, the, it will allow me to provide a request type. In my case, this value is post, but when you use for some other app functions, you may also have some of the other HTTP request types available. Let me just select post and save my card back again. I also have my relative URL, the header object, and the JSON body that's mapped from the previous cards in here. This card then returns a response status code and headers and body as usual. Since I'm modifying the roles, I need to ensure that my workflow's application actually has access to be able to make this change in Okta. In order to do this, I will go back to my Okta console and under applications, I will look up my workflow's OAuth app. The API scopes in this case allow me to specify what actions are provided to the workflow's application. I will go down here and select Okta roles read, grant access. And the same way, I will also perform the same action for Okta roles manage API scope, grant action. So once you do that, these both of these scopes will appear in my granted list, as you can see here. Now, since these scopes are actually tied to my token, my OAuth token in this case, I need to be able to reauthorize the token so that the new token can have the required scopes. I can easily do this from this card itself. I will select my Okta connection, click on settings, and this allows me to reauthorize. Now I just need to be able to populate my domain, client ID, and client secret values. Once I populate these values, I click on reauthorize here. And that's my connection established. I will just save here and hit done. And my card is ready to use.
I will save my changes on this workflow and now test this card. In order to test the card, I need to be able to create a user with a value support in it. I am able to do this real quick with another test flow that I have created here. All that this flow has is, is a create user card. I will fill out the values for username, first name, primary email in my case. So let's just do that. I'll copy the same value over for my email. And let's add the first name and the last name here. I will leave the role support because that's really what I'm testing for. And let's hit test. So as the flow history runs, we see that the create user was successful and the user status is returned as provisioned. Let's go back to the main flow here and review the flow history. As you can see, the, this is the latest record here. And let's, this, it has already populated all the details. It has satisfied the condition and the custom URL and the objects have been constructed. And then the custom API action uh, call is also complete with the status code of 201. To validate this, let, let's go back and check our administrators tab here in Okta. So under security, administrators, we see that our new user Ada is created with the help desk admin role. Similarly, you can use the custom API action to extend to many more functionalities within Okta, as well as some of the other API app connectors that, are, that allow this feature.